Welcome everybody to the SMF Wrestling 15,000 Subscribers Super Show. I'm Cosmo, I'm Fanlox, and I'm Jim, guys. We want to personally thank all of you for 15,000 subscribers to the SMF Wrestling YouTube channel. Yes, guys, thank every single one of you, and actually, 73% of you who watch SMF Wrestling are not subscribed. So, if you're watching this and you enjoy SMF Wrestling, then please subscribe. Yes, guys, please subscribe and enjoy this super show. The following contest is an Extreme Rules Tag Team Match, except for one fall. It's using first, the Charismatic Enigma, Jeff Hardy. And his tag team partner, Broken Matt Hardy. Uh, guys, where's he at? Where's he at? Oh my gosh, he's up there. Wait a minute, what? Where'd he go? Wait a minute, what? He's in the ring. Matt Hardy's in the ring. Dang, 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 dang. And listen to the SMF Wrestling Universe as they cheer on this new and improved Hardy Boys with Broken Matt Hardy and brother Nero Jeff Hardy. Yeah, the Hardy Boys are back in action. And their opponents, the team of V. Brian Kendrick and the United States Champion Toucan. Man, with the Toucan! The long rivalry between Toucan and Jeff Hardy assaulted to the debut of Broken Matt Hardy and SMF Wrestling. And now, the United States Champion and his tag team partner Brian Kendrick are about to get a piece of the Hardy Boys. Boo you you you! And this tag team match has started, and it's Brian Kendrick stepping up to Matt Hardy. Wait a minute, what the heck? Where'd he go? Boo you you! That's cheating, boy! Don't turn around, Brian Kendrick. Oh, and a clothesline there from Broken Matt Hardy. Oh, now he's gonna pick him up here. Oh, and now uh, oh, a DDT drops down the Brian Kendrick. Brian Kendrick is down, and Broken Matt Hardy is getting ready. Oh, but Toucan takes his United States Champion and takes down Jeff Hardy, and it's all legal in this Extreme Rules match. Brother Nero, where you are, I will delete you. Wait a minute, roll up here, Matt Hardy won. Two, Matt Hardy kicked out, and he gets back up. Oh, but a big boot there, right, to Broken Matt Hardy. And now, oh, and now Brian Kendrick is going to put that Captain's Hook submission move. Now Hardy's trying to break out of it. Oh, now Toucan's to me, Toucan slap there, right, to Matt Hardy. And now there's Jeff Hardy at the top rope, take it down both, now with the Toucan. And now throwing Toucan out of the ring. Oh, wait a minute, Matt Hardy, Matt Hardy has a chair. Oh, chair shot there, oh. Well, multiple chair shots to Deep Ryan Kendrick. Delete, delete, delete. Now Jeff Hardy now is pulling off that table, but now look at Toucan. Suplex there from Toucan. Boo, yo, yo, yo. Brian Kendrick. Oh, Matt Hardy with a kick to the midsection. The champion twist the fate there right to Toucan. Delete, delete. Oh, now look at this. Matt Hardy is going to pick up Toucan and put him on the table. On the other side. Oh, a ladder. A ladder there grabbed by Jeff Hardy. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. No, here goes Brian Kendrick. Oh. Oh, a strike to the midsection here. Now he's going to go for a suplex, but oh, Matt Hardy reverses it here. Oh, now a suplex of his own to Brian Kendrick. And now Matt is now pushing Brian Kendrick on the table next to Toucan. What's he going to do? Swan Todd Bob there. Off the top of the ladder through the table. What the heck? What? Now why is Matt Hardy teleporting around the ring? What the heck? Now he's next to Toucan. Now he's gonna pick up the United States Champion and throw him back in the ring. Delete! 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 Toucan is rocked. Twist of fate there right to the United States Champion. And the cover. One, two, three. Hardy Boys win. Here are your winners. Matt and Jeff. The Hardy Boys. The Hardy Boys have taken down Man with the Toucan. And Matt Hardy walks away. Pinning the United States Champion. Delete! 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 Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Jeff Hardy had put Brian Kendrick through a table and Toucan was pinned by broken Matt Hardy and he pinned the United States Champion. Can you be looking for a future championship opportunity now? Delete! 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 Is he flying away? What the heck? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest, the tag team champions, Seth Rollins, the Intercontinental Champion, and Gumby. So last week, Seth Rollins, you said that you would defend the Tag Team Championships against Team Chuck E. Cheese if Chuck or Chuck E. Cheese could beat Gumby. And Chuck stood up and Chuck defeated Gumby last week. So does this mean that a SMF Wrestling Class of Champions, Team Chuck E. Cheese, will get their rematch for those Tag Team Championships? Hold on just a minute, Woody. There were obviously some shenanigans last week. We all know that Team Chuck E. Cheese 
took advantage of the numbers game while my disciple and I were down. So Team Chuck E. Cheese, you really think that you're going to face the SMF Messiah, Seth Rollins, and Gumby? Because he's tag team championships well. Seth Rollins, you think you're the only one around here that has two championships? Well, I'm R-Truth, two belts. What the hell are you talking about? I have two championships. You only have the 24-7 championship. What? What do you mean? I got two championships. Look, I got my 24-7, 7-11, i five, a Galaxy, one, two, three, four, five, six championship on my shoulder and on my other shoulder. I got, uh, I got nothing. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. This one's on me. I only got one championship. My bad, my bad. Oh, ah, I'm in pain. Ah, ah, oh. Hey, Gumby, cover that man. Oh, that's a cover. One, two, three, new champ. This, this is the greater good that I am talking about. Now, Gumby, let's go celebrate out in the ring later on, where we both get to be dual champions. Yeah, that's right. Take that, dude. I'm a dual champion. I'm Gumby Two Belts. Um, Truth? Truth? Are you all right, Truth? Uh... What it? What it? I'm gonna get my rematch for the Intercontinental Championship. I believe in myself, Woody. I'm gonna do it for you. Seth Rollins, I'll call for my Intercontinental Championship. Intercontinental Championship? What are you talking about? Gumby now holds the Tag Team Championship and the 24 7 Championship. Well, that following contest is a handicap match set for one fall. Introducing first, that team of Tree Rex and Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. Tree Rex and Buzz right here will have a chance! Interesting team up here. We have never seen this before. Yeah, well, look at their opponent. And their opponent, the monster, Braun Strowman! And Braun Strowman recently came back to SMF Wrestling and he was dominating the entire roster as he was picking fights with literally anybody who he could find. But now, can he square up against two of the best here in SMF Wrestling in this handicap match? And the bell is rung here, and now Buzz and Tree Rex are going after Braun. Oh, what a strike there! Right to Tree Rex. Oh, and he takes down Buzz. And now a drop kick there just knocked Buzz out of the ring. And now he's, he's turning his attention over to Tree Rex. Oh, he throws him out of the ring. And Buzz and Tree Rex have been knocked down out of the ring. And now Braun Strowman is coming out there. Oh, a right hand right to Buzz Lightyear throwing him back in the ring. Uh, you cannot beat Tree Rex. Uh, oh, and a kick there, but it barely phases Braun Strowman as he takes him out at the shoulder tackle. Buzz Lightyear over the ropes there, but now Braun caught him here. Power slam there right to Buzz. Buzz has not moved since, and oh, now he's gonna pick up Tree Rex here. Oh, he's gonna slam him right on top, and now he's stacking him up for a cover. One, two, three. Here is your winner, the monster, Braun Strowman. And just like that, Braun Strowman has made quick work of two of the best superstars here. And that's Matt Wrestling, and he's throwing him out of the ring. Caught the music. You really think the two men are gonna beat the monster, Braun? Strowman, ha ha ha. For too many damn months, I was in the back. I've taken out all my aggression, and I'm gonna use it now. And each and every one of you in the back will not only get these hands, but get an ass whooping that will put you in the hospital, as nobody is gonna beat me. Not a single superstar in the back is gonna beat the monster. What? No, wait, what? Yeah, man! Oh my gosh, is that former Blue Belt Champion, Goldberg? What's Goldberg doing here? Burn Strowman, you're next! Oh, the spear there, right to the monster! Braun Strowman is down! Yeah, back! Burn Strowman, you wanna say nobody can beat you? Well, you're next! Goldberg has just returned to take down Braun Strowman and his matches that nobody could beat him. Braun has been laid out there by Goldberg. Bye, Strowman! I see you at Clash of Champions! What? Wait a minute, Goldberg versus Braun Strowman at Clash of Champions? Oh, and Braun Strowman's getting right back up to his feet. I accept. Whoa. Deep breaths in. Deep breaths out. 
Relax every bone in your body. Now, you will obey me no matter what you think. I am your master. I have taken control of your conscious mind. You will do whatever Dr. Doofensmart tells you to do. Now sleep for another three hours and I'll be back. All right, in order to take over the SMF wrestling, I'm going to need more clients than just three. Uh, who can I recruit? You know, that Waldo guy. Every time Waldo shows up, people need therapy. <laughs> I need to find Wardo. That's what I need to do. Ah, Mojo Valley, no Mojo Valley, Mojo Valley, yes, Mojo yes, Valley, Mojo Valley. Perfect. Hey you, hey you. Mojo Valley. Um, how would you like a secret mission? Mojo Valley, no Mojo Valley, Mojo Valley. Uh, I'm gonna take that as a yes. Listen, if you can find Wardo, I can pull some strings and I can get you a match for the Blue Belt Championship. Ah, Mojo Valley, no Mojo Valley, Mojo Valley. Okay, I'm gonna assume he is going to find Wado. <laughs> Making their way to the rings, the tag team champions, the 24-7 champion Gumby, and the Intercontinental Champion, the SMF Messiah, Seth Rollins. And I can't believe it, both Seth Rollins and Gumby hold two championships at once. <laughs> you are looking at the greater good. <laughs> Exactly. And Seth Rollins, I want to personally thank you because now I hold two championships just like you. <laughs> of course. You see, if you just join the Messiah and be on the right side of history, you can be just like my disciple Gumby over here. This man was in the back eating catering for weeks, months. Nobody even remembered he was still employed to SMF Wrestling. And now, he holds two championships, just like myself. <laughs> now, we will not be defending our championships against Team Chuck E. Cheese as we defeated them once. We don't have to do it again. We have nothing to prove against Team Chuck E. Cheese. What? Wait a minute, what the heck? Is that our truth Yeah, y'all already know what time it is. Our truth is here. What's up? What's up? What's up, our truth Seth Trilings, you really think I'm gonna sit in the back and I ask for my rematch? I was the longest reigning 20 time Intercontinental Champion and you took my championship. But you know what? I want my rematch right here, right now. Are you delusional? You've never held the Intercontinental Championship in your career. What do you mean? Oh. Oh, he just slapped Seth Rollins. Oh, and there's a kick there right to R-Truth. Oh, now look at this. Oh, a stomp there right to R-Truth. And Seth Rollins has a big target on his back. Anyway, like I was saying... Ah! Oh, wait a minute. It's Team Chuck E. Cheese coming out. Chuck E. Cheese! Yes, yes, yes. Hold on just one second. Seth Rollins, you told us very clearly that if one of us could beat Gumby last week, we would get a rematch for our Tag Team Championships. Chuck E. Cheese! Chuck 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 Yes, I defeated Gumby last week, clean, in the middle of the ring. So Seth Rollins, give us our rear match right now. See, this is an example of what it's like to be the Messiah. Everybody wants a piece of me. But Team Chuck E. Cheese, you're just as delusional as our truth. What are you talking about? I beat Gumby, give us our rematch. Oh, what a dropkick there to Chuck and take down Chucky. <laughs> pick him up, pick him up, put him in the ring. Oh, and now Seth Rollins is taking advantage. Oh, man, there's a stomp there. Just took down both members of Team Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Only a messiah can beat down all challengers. Wait, wait a minute, what? What? Oh, my gosh. It's AJ Styles. What's Styles doing out here? Oh, phenomenal forearm there, takes down Gumby! And Rollins goes for the kick there, and I'll stop now, oh, and look at this here, look at this! Styles clashed there right to Rollins! Styles is back! Now, AJ Styles is picking up the Intercontinental Championship, and he's holding it over Seth Rollins! And Seth Rollins now probably knows what it's like to hold two championships! It means double the challengers! 
Styles is back. Our team ticket is gonna get their rematch. Well, we gotta find out as Seth Rollins and his disciple have been taken down. Wait a minute, what the heck? One, two, three. Our truth wins. Yeah, take that, Gumbo. Our truth is once again 24 7. Gillix the Green Gumby Championship. Our truth. Just became champion! Our troop gets a championship back! Gumby no longer holds two championships! I'm Mojo Rally, no Jonale, Kojo Fire, Mojo Rally, no Jonale, Kojo Fire, Mojo Rally, no Jonale, Kojo Fire, Mojo Rally, no Jonale, Mojo Rally, Mojo Rally, Mojo Rally, Hey, hey, calm down, calm down, calm down. There's no reason to be angry. Listen, I can give you some anger management classes, and I'll, I'll help you find water, okay? Come with me, Mojo. I can go help you fix your mind. Hey, guys, is Mojo Riley about to join Dr. Gummy Smarts' therapy classes? I don't want to think about it, but uh, we have an in-ring interview here from referee Woody, so take it away, Woody. So... As you all have seen, over the past few weeks, our blue belt champion Ferb has been acting really weird ever since his encounter with The Fiend and Bray Wyatt. Everybody who works backstage has put together a little theory that Bray Wyatt is trying to sabotage Ferb. So we're going to get some extra evidence here by interviewing the man himself, Ferb. So please welcome the blue belt champion Ferb. Oh, and there he is. The blue belt champion Ferb is coming out here and he... He looks like he's shaking. What's wrong with Ferb? He's usually the most annoying superstar here, and now he's quiet. What's going on with Ferb? Well, we're about to find out as Woody said that he's going to be interviewing the Blue Boat Champion. So, yeah, I don't know if you heard the theory, but, like, your encounters with Bray Wyatt has uh, kind of worried all of us backstage. I mean, you are our Blue Boat Champion, and we really like to have you as our champion. We really care about you, man. What's wrong? Ferb? Hello? Woody? Yes. Woody? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 Woody, can you ask me the question again? Yeah. We want to know are you okay? Everybody backstage is worried about you. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm firm. I'm the Blue Ball Champion, baby! I'm the Blue Ball Champion! You see this, Woody? You see this? Yes, we do. I am Ferb, I'm the Blue Belt Champion, and I've got my nosers by my side. You think I'm scared of anybody? No, I mean, I'm just asking, like, Bray Wyatt is really, he, he's known to be really weird. And you have acted weird since in, in, encountering Bray. Listen, 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 Woody, the only time I ever encountered Bray Wyatt was when he attacked me after my match at Payback. But you know what? Bray the Flay Wyatt... I don't like you, Bray Wyatt. So you know what? You will never get a match for this Blue Belt Championship ever. Verb, I hate to break it to you, but the number one contender for the Blue Belt Championship is Bray Wyatt. I'm being informed right now by a really mysterious voice in my headset. You have a match against Bray Wyatt for the Blue Belt Championship, and it is right now. What? A championship match right now? What? No, no, wait, 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 wait. What? I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I can't understand you. Well, I don't want to do it. I don't want to face break. I don't want to face break. Please, please. I don't want to face break. I don't want to face break. I don't want to do it. 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 The following contest is set for one fall. It is for the Blue Belt Championship. Introducing the challenger, Ray Wyatt. Wait a minute, it's the normal Bray Wyatt? Like, no fiend or anything? Bray Wyatt?! I'm really excited about this. We're really having a Blue Belt Championship match right now against Bray Wyatt and Ferb? I can't believe this. Bray Wyatt! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? The championship is on the line. No! No, don't do it! Don't ring the bell! Please don't ring the bell! Don't ring the bell! The bell is rung! This match has started! <laughs> Bray, Bray Wyatt! Oh, oh, I don't want to do this! <laughs> Why do you keep laughing? What's wrong with you? 
I don't know what I'm watching. Bray Wyatt is just laughing away all his attacks from Verb. Like, this is, I've never seen this before. Out of all my years on commentary, I've never seen anything like this before. And he's getting right back up here. <coughs> and a Verb smash there from the Blue Bar Champion. And he's still laughing. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, what the heck? And now Bray Wyatt has just turned. He's back right now. Oh, a sister Abigail right to Ferb. Ferb is down at the hands of Bray Wyatt. Oh, and another one. <laughs> and now he's just sitting there laughing at Ferb when he's hurt. Oh, and don't tell me he's going to hit one more sister Abigail. We're going to have a new Blue Ball champion. We have a new Blue Ball champion. Oh, my gosh. He's going to go for the cover. Oh, what the? What the heck is going on? The match is over. And is that Phineas, former Blue Ball champion? Oh, and a Phineas Pope. Right to Bray Wyatt. What the heck is Phineas? We have not seen him in weeks. Is he throwing Bray out of the ring? You do not deserve a match for the Blue Bar Championship. I still need my rematch. Oh, what is he doing to Bray Wyatt? Oh, putting him into the steel steps. And now look at this. Phineas is going to pick up the steel steps. Oh, putting on Bray Wyatt's neck. Bray Wyatt's neck has to be broken after that. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. No, no, listen. You, both of you, I don't care who it is, talk to Vince McMahon. You know I deserve a rematch for the Blue Bar Championship. No, get out of here. Get out of here. And Bray Wyatt now is now being lifted onto a stretcher. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on just a minute. You want to tell me that I lose the Blue Bar Championship and now the host of Blue's Clues gets a championship match before I do. Ferb. Ferb is knocked out cold right now. But Ferb, when you wake up, I want you to watch this back. And I want you to think about the terrible ratings that SMF Wrestling has gotten since I left. Since I lost the Blue Boat Championship, SMF Wrestling has gone downhill. What has this idiot done? Huh? What has this idiot done? He's been a terrible Blue Boat Champion. I'll show you what a real champion does. Get the hell out of the way. What is, what is Phineas doing? Phineas is a madman. He's rolling over Bray Wyatt. He's lifting it out. Oh, and he's put the stretch over the table. He threw Bray Wyatt. You have a man child and you have the host of Blue's Clues ah, as wrestlers. What is your problem? What is the problem with this stupid company? I was fixing it. I was fixing ratings. I was bringing extreme action. Oh, and now Phineas is ground part of our broken table. Oh, he just put it on Bray Wyatt's neck. Bray Wyatt has to be paralyzed. Get off him. It looks like Bray Wyatt's having a seizure in the ring. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, and the referees are trying to help Bray Wyatt and they're putting him back on a new stretcher. I mean, this is the same man who took a chainsaw to SummerSlam. I'm not surprised at all. Well, oh man, and it looks like an ambulance is here, and they're talking to Phineas right now. I don't care what any of you authority figures say. You are giving me my rematch. And now Phineas now is talking to members of the authority, and now Bray Wyatt is being put in the back of that ambulance. He, had, he was having a seizure. He could be paralyzed right now. Well, guys, I'm pretty sure Bray Wyatt is out of action for a while. I mean, there's no way he's going to come back and get another match for the Blue Belt Championship after a while. I mean, he just took, he's got taken away in, a, in an ambulance. Well, you know what Phineas said? You want to be fired? Uh, no, you're not going to fire me. You're not going to fire me. You're going to give me what I deserve. What I rightfully have is a rematch. <laughs> look over there, look over there, look over there. What are you idiots looking at? Oh my gosh. Oh, my God.